everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about density. Wow! Have you ever wondered why some things float in water while other things sink? This all has to do with density. If something is less dense than water, it'll float on top, and if something is more dense, then it will sink. This even happens for other liquids. So today we're going to be doing an activity with some household substances where we're going to be able to see these density layers form in a colorful density tower. So I'm going to be using honey, water, vegetable oil, dish soap, and rubbing alcohol. I'll also be using some food coloring for my water and for my rubbing alcohol just so it's easier to see them within the tower. I will also be using a turkey baster and a measuring cup to help measure everything out and transfer these liquids to my glass cylinder. So first I'm measuring everything out to have equal amounts of each liquid. I'm using one third cup of each. Since density is the mass per unit volume or how compact a substance is, having the same volume of everything means their weight will be different. So this is important in making distinct layers in our density tower. Starting with honey as the most dense, I'm carefully pouring this into the glass cylinder. Since honey is so thick, I have to be careful not to pour it on the sides of the glass so it doesn't cloud up our other layers later on. Uh, next, I'm adding dish soap, again being careful not to touch the sides of the glass. Once those layers have settled, I'll now add my colored water. Since water is so runny, I'll be adding it gently to the glass using a turkey baster. Next, I'll add vegetable oil on top of the water, going slowly so I don't mix the layers too much. And finally, I'll top it all off with rubbing alcohol. Again, gently so the layers don't mix. If the layers did mix a little bit, I would just need to wait a little bit. That way the layers had time to separate by their densities again. Now looking at our completed tower, we can see that out of these five liquids, rubbing alcohol has the lowest density and honey has the highest, since rubbing alcohol is on the top of the tower while honey is all the way settled at the bottom. This also means if we were to weigh one cup of honey, it would weigh a lot more than one cup of rubbing alcohol since density is related to mass. So here's just a little bit of bonus footage showing the liquids still moving around within the tower. I do slosh the tower around a little bit just to kind of mix the layers up and you can see that they sort of maintain their place within the tower and stay where they're supposed to be based on their densities. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment as an intro to density. Feel free to try it out at home, maybe even experimenting with other liquids like syrup or milk. Uh, you know, those can be pretty fun to see where they land within the tower. If you do, let us know about it on social media. Here's some of our social media tags. And other than that, thank you for watching.